Be mm-hmm. nerdy. Okay. Be a rock hound and make bad puns. Okay. We make lots of bad jokes on this channel. Okay. All right. So should we I think on? I'm going to try to make a good joke and it's going to come across as a bad joke. Well, I make terrible <laughs> jokes. Okay. So, oh, so. I don't think we're going to have a problem. Um, first of all, Anne, say hi to the camera. We've got hi. you're on YouTube. How does I'm on feel? YouTube. Have, first time ever. No pressure. <laughs> this is super fun. Um, do you want to tell our wonderful viewers who you are and why I get to have okay. you? It's such a treat to have Anne on today. Well, I'm Anne Beaver. I'm the what I love that they call me the guest expert for turquoise on uh, GTV in the Teo Yama collection. And I'm here to talk about turquoise with Natalie. And <laughs> we have quite a few pieces yes. of turquoise on. Okay, so we have not done a whole lot of turquoise on this show. Yeah. And it really is a gorgeous gem. Mm-hmm. It is, um, I don't know, it kind of has that like Southwestern mm-hmm. flair. You see it in yeah. a lot of different lines. So mm-hmm. tell us a little bit about why you love turquoise and what brought you. All right, how much time do we have? Well, we got, <laughs> how much time what, do we have? We have there is no, no stop on what? the fun. We yeah, can go as long as we okay. want. So let's just. No, just I fun. love, I, one of the things, first of all, turquoise is our American gemstone. It is, oh, yes, it's great. Yeah, I think it's one of the few uh, gemstones that the finest or the most well-renowned is in the United States, mm-hmm. where very often, you know, the finest is maybe in Africa or China or Brazil Vietnam, or yeah, is, somewhere, yeah. but we actually have the finest turquoise. And so I think that that's cool, but that's not actually where or how I started loving it. I've loved it since I was a little girl. You grow up in Arizona, you always see it. It's the first gemstone that was ever found uh, in a piece of jewelry. Wow, I did not know that. <laughs> yes, that's the so- oldest piece of jewelry ever found had turquoise in it. Hey. And you think that it's in all of the royal jewelry throughout the course of time. And then you think it's in all the indigenous jewelry. So it really is a turquoise stone that is for everybody. But what I'm also looking forward to is what I know. I know. Three, two. (gasps) Oh, wow. That's so pretty. Oh my God. This is awesome. We see we have the colors mm-hmm. of turquoise, which I don't know mm-hmm. about you all out there, but kind of before I got in the business, I thought that turquoise was only blue. Mm-hmm. And I've quickly realized that, yeah. you know, I've been in the business 10 years. And over the last 10 mm-hmm. years, I've realized that turquoise actually kind of comes in a gradient from like mm-hmm. greens to more blues. And there's really mm-hmm. a um, a look for everyone. Right. And there's also matrixing patterns that are different. Which we can talk about too. Mm-hmm. So matrix is um, part of what create the, the, in the turquoise, it's the host rock and it veins in different ways. And <clears throat> as we were talking about, turquoise could be either green or turquoise can be blue. Uh, bluer stone has a higher concentration of copper. The uh, stones that are greener have a higher concentration of iron. Having said that, with like certain stones like Kingman, you're gonna see these very unique and distinct matrixing patterns that you are only unique to Kingman, Mm -hmm. which is one of the identifiers of certain mines. And so not only is it like colors and hues, but I mean, you can have green Sleeping Beauty where Sleeping Beauty is known prolifically for being clean and blue. Very cool. You can have Sleeping Beauty with host rock in it. You can have Sleeping Beauty that's green. Um, With Kingman, you'll have like in this range, you see these greens Mm -hmm. and then, but there's different matrixing and within even the green. So Kingman's a major mine. Yeah, so Kingman is northern, closer to Las Vegas. Globe is um, further south in the state. Globe Mm -hmm. is where Sleeping Beauty, Mm -hmm. and Sleeping Beauty is known for kind of the, when, I think when you think of turquoise, right. that big blue, mm-hmm. that's what Sleeping Beauty is known for, right? Yeah, so so like a, a very clean stone. Um, that's sort of what Sleeping Beauty became famous for. You mentioned matrix. Mm-hmm. So do you want to do a quick definition for those of our friends out there who are maybe not as familiar with the term matrix okay. and talk a little bit about So that? matrix, it would be the patterning of like host rock or other mineral deposits that are inside the turquoise. So like turquoise has the elements that comprise what turquoise is. Right. And then there's other minerals sometimes that go in and, and create the matrixing pattern. And I guess you can like see pyrite. that. Yeah, and I guess that would be mm-hmm. an example of the matrix right mm-hmm. there. So guys, take a quick look. Um, you know, you see that really bright blue turquoise example, but then you also see, it looks like kind of a brownish mm-hmm. gray going through and that's the matrix right there. That's basically the rock that holds the mm-hmm. turquoise. The best way I've ever chose or like thought of how I could describe Kingman to like Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty is like the sky that's blue and Kingman is like the ocean. 
Okay. So like Kingman has blues and greens and you know, there's calm days and windy days and stormy days. How so like you have those cool. swirling patterns and, oh, gosh, we have, we have another specimen. Little, yes. So the, I really wanted to show this right. because I feel like that is such a good example to show that host rock. And then you see the, the rough side of it. And then the, um, that's just put, to a buffing wheel. Look how beautiful mm. that is. And it's yes. that, this is mother nature. And, mm. um, and her husband and her kids, they did nothing to this piece. Yes. It's been polished a little bit yeah. there, but other than that. This yeah, that is and that's just a buffing wheel. There are different treatments to protect the stone and they can find treated turquoise all the way back to the Egyptian turquoise. But what I do think is really interesting about mining turquoise is I th do think a lot of people think, um, you think of like the hard hat with the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll be perfectly honest, knew a lot about turquoise and that's what I was expecting, cave. <laughs> like, yeah. No, it is not. I mean, it really is a mountain and they dig on top of the mountain. So there's no caves, there's no, and then they have to plane the mountain down. Okay, so we talked about matrix, we've mm -hmm. talked about coloring, we mm -hmm. talked about mining, and I think we've hit kind of like the foundation mm -hmm. of turquoise, and now it's time to have some fun. Yeah. And I love jewelry, you love jewelry. So, what I wanted to bring for you when I was thinking like, what could I show? Something glamorous. Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking about it and I thought, what what is the thing I love the most about turquoise? and it is how versatile it is, or like how it can truly go in every single different kind of design. Uh -huh. And most people don't realize that. So it's like, how could I show that? Which pieces would I bring? Like, and then I was like, I'm just gonna go to my jewelry box. <laughs> you brought so, up some of your jewelry box. Yes, because hey. I wanted to show like through the years, different collections and then really like highlight how different the settings are, how different the styles, how different the stones and how it is such a, uh, stone that you could collect your whole life. Like I've been collecting it, I'm 41 years old and I still am not done. All right, let's, get, okay. let's hit the jewelry, ready? Go. Am I allowed to? Abacadabra, go for it. Abacadabra, here's some jewelry. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, look at that necklace. So, Holy yeah. moly. So what I really wanted to show is all of, there's not one single ring on here that has the same kind of style. No, and I've got not this one, one on right here. Um, what I also <laughs> like one. is there's not one ring on here that has the same blue uh -huh. or the That's same why texture. I Mm -hmm. I'm gonna point out, this is Kingman. Okay. That one is Kingman, and that's a, a very similar stone to one of the stones that you unboxed. Okay. Um, this is Kingman, okay. it's called Bird's Eye, and if you look, you can see like the formations. It looks like, like little yes. eyes. Um, this is Persian. I love that, that's beautiful. And, uh, and this is a really good example too. This is completely untreated and totally natural, and you can see I've worn this, I think I've had that for 10 years. This is Kingman, and in all the years that I've um, been involved in this industry, I've never seen these stones again. And that's a stone we did for JTV Teoyama um, in 2012, I okay. think, or two, yeah, like, I mean, years and years ago, and I've never seen it again. You wouldn't even necessarily know it was turquoise. And then this is from a mine in Nevada, and um, it's one of my, it's my favorite hands down one of my favorite turquoise stones I've ever had in my that life. so cool. So, and then this is, again, I was talking about the swirling pattern with Kingman. See how the matrixing that's in that so is pretty. swirls. I love that. I know that's blue. Kingman too. I love that blue. So then, um, just for the camera to see, cool. that is purple, um, the composite material that they make at the Kingman mine. Yeah which all composite turquoise is not created equal. And tell us what, do so, definition for composite. Composite stone is where they take um, turquoise that isn't hard enough to be cut, like what we were looking at, the rough, or can't be cut into a cabochon, and then they take it and they compress it to make it into a, a piece that could be cut, and they put, they stabilize it, they do, um, with the Kingman mind, like this, it is very, clear and evident it is dyed. Wow. They are trying to hide anything. So all that, like the components of it are still the, the turquoise. Wow. It's turquoise, it's just smushed together. So this is one of my um, Sleeping Beauty bead strands. So and I like, I like to bring the, I wanted to show, cause Sleeping Beauty, again, everybody looks at it as clean um, blue stone, mm -hmm. but there's ranges. So blue is blue is blue. No. Until you have them together. So look at the difference of that. So this is from the same turquoise mm -hmm. mine, everyone. And everybody always calls it robin's egg blue, robin's egg blue. Well, there's a lot of variation to the blues. It's like a Tiffany blue. Uh-huh. And so I, that's actually the blue of Sleeping Beauty I prefer the most. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes this is almost too blue for me. Like, I love it. 
I love this collecting it, neutral. but I love like the softness love and that. um and like this is a piece of <gasps> sleep Sleeping Beauty that's untreated as well. There's absolutely it's just the rock. So if you like that one, you can unbox this one. This is um, a Christmas present that I had to wait five Christmases before. Well, actually, I've yet to get another Christmas present. If you drop that, I will hurt you. <laughs> I was gonna be like, if you drop that, I'll kill you. Like, I know that's what you are. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. As unique as the stone, what is considered the most valuable Cute. or the most special is as unique to the person who is saying it or who loves turquoise. And so that's what I think is neat about turquoise. And it is, so Sleeping Beauty became very famous because it's similar to Persian turquoise, but I've actually never seen blue Persian in no, my whole life. This Persian. is, yeah, but that is why people liked Sleeping Beauty. So Persian turquoise is classified as just very clean looking? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it was blue like that. And then when that mine closed, then Sleeping Beauty kind of took its place. Wow. So there really isn't one value factor. It kind no, of depends it, yeah. on what you mm -hmm. like. Okay. And the rarity, like, like I said, some, you can find a piece of, like a number eight that could be extraordinarily a expensive. Eight, that looks like yeah, that. or something. Yeah. Wow. So. Um, okay, so on this channel, we like to do something called taking a closer look, and that's when you pick one thing, hold it up to the camera, okay. and you know, give us one fact that you want our viewers to remember from this episode. It's kind of like mm -hmm. the final exam for the episode. What's the one thing you want them to remember? I think I would pick. I'm off the. I know. I well. <laughs> I, I actually am glad I thought you. I love Look, that. So this is Kingman. Okay. And that's Sleeping Beauty. And I would say that would be something that I would love for people to know. Because I think so many people don't realize that Kingman has a blue that's that actually, if you were to zoom the camera in and see these two stones together, this is actually bluer. Wow, okay. And so I think that that's a fact that most people don't know. Probably. So. Yeah, definitely. So, all right, guys, uh, why don't you take a closer look at this beautiful blue mm -hmm. ring and kind of compare the two, two different mines, mm -hmm. um, you know, same part of the country, mm -hmm. same, same stone, state. same state, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, look how, look at the differences between all of these and then look at the similarity between the two blues, which is just mm -hmm. breathtaking. subscribers. I'm hoping to see 115,000 kisses for Anne to tell her thank you for coming. Um, and maybe that will get us out to Arizona in the future. But in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell. Um, turquoise, as you can see, comes in a variety of different colors. There really is something for everyone. So expand your collection. Tune in to JTV in the future and you mm -hmm. will see Anne on our broadcast. Um, and just remember guys, you know, your collection can look however you want it to. It can be full of mm -hmm. green turquoise and matrix or it can look um, just like this ring. So the future, the future is yours. It's up to you. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. up to you. So, all right, well, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Hope you come back. Okay. This yeah. is awesome. All right, bye guys.